My name is David Brown, and these are my colleagues Mary Fran Hughes and Bob Seeger. On behalf of our whole team, welcome to the Emergency Department at Massachusetts General Hospital. We are committed to providing you with the best possible care and the best possible experience while you are here. In the Emergency Department, also known as the ED, we treat patients with serious health issues. We care for every patient who comes through our door, including very ill patients who are sent to our ED from all over the region. Although there may be a wait, we care about you and your emergency. We will do our very best to see you as soon as possible and keep you informed throughout your visit. Please ask a member of your team any specific questions you may have. This video will provide you with basic information for you and your loved ones about the ED and what you need to know during your visit and what to expect while you're here. We hope you find this information helpful. Thank you for the privilege of taking care of you today and we wish you well. In the MGH Emergency Department, we work together as a team to care for you. Your team members will be communicating with one another and with you to ensure that you receive the best care possible. You will have an attending physician who is the senior doctor leading your care team. This person is ultimately responsible for your care in the emergency department. In addition, a registered nurse will work to assist in your treatment and make sure you're comfortable throughout your visit. You may also see other members of our team, including a physician assistant who is a fully licensed provider and works with your attending physician, a resident who is a fully licensed doctor in the field of emergency medicine, medical students who are training to be doctors, and others. There are other members of the ED team also including registrars, coordinators, and research assistants. Registrars are emergency department staff who collect your demographic and financial information, for example, your date of birth and home address. Coordinators are important administrative staff who manage the non-clinical operations in each area of the emergency department. Research assistants may potentially speak with you about enrolling in a medical study if your particular medical problem is a condition that we are conducting research on. We understand that working with such a large team can get confusing. If you forget who is who, just ask us. We are always happy to remind you of who we are and how we're involved in your care. Our roles are also listed on our ID badges, so you'll be able to see who we are. We understand that coming to the emergency department can be very stressful. Here's some information about what to expect during your visit that will help make your time at MGH as smooth as possible. If you have questions at any time about your care, please feel free to speak to a member of our team. When you first arrive in the emergency department, a registrar will meet with you to collect important information so that we can correctly identify you in our electronic medical record system and access your medical history, allergies, and other information that's important to your care. You will then see a triage nurse who will ask you about your health problem. Your temperature, blood pressure, and heart rate may also be checked. This will help your nurse determine where within the ED you should be seen next. This process is called triage. Everyone's emergency is serious, different, and important to us. We take care of the most critically ill patients first, particularly those with life-threatening conditions that need to be seen immediately. Please let us know if you're feeling worse at any time or if you're in extreme pain so we can help make you feel better. Once you are in the appropriate care area, you will be seen by the attending physician and his or her team. You will be asked questions about your health and then will receive a physical exam. Your doctors and nurses will work with you to create a plan for your care. Throughout your visit, you may be transferred to different areas of the emergency department for treatment, testing, and or monitoring. Providing you with the care that you need can often take many hours. For example, you may be given medicines or IV fluids that require us to wait to determine if your medical condition improves. You may also need more testing to better understand your condition. Please refer to our website and to signs around the ED for information about how long it usually takes to get results for common tests. Your team may also need to talk to another doctor who specializes in your particular condition. This is called a consultation and it can take several hours. This doctor may need to wait for your test results before making recommendations about your final treatment. 
When your care team has all of the information they need, they will make a decision about whether you can go home, should stay in the ED to be closely monitored, or if you need to be admitted to the hospital as an inpatient to be cared for further. Some patients are transferred to other hospitals for continued care, while some others are sent to different facilities for rehabilitation care. Your doctor and nurse will work closely with you to recommend the most appropriate treatment. In addition to clinical care, we offer various services that may be helpful to you during your time here in the emergency department. If you are interested in one of these services, please speak with a member of our care team. We have interpreter services available if you prefer to communicate in a language other than English. We have chaplains who can respond to any spiritual, religious, or emotional needs you might have. During certain hours, we can offer case management resources if you need help arranging for additional care when you leave the ED. During certain hours, we can also offer social work resources if you need help with housing, food, and other services outside of the hospital. There are also many other resources at the hospital, including a chapel, the Blum Patient and Family Learning Center, an Office of Patient Advocacy, and more. Please visit the ED website for a list of these resources. We want you to feel as comfortable as possible during your visit with us. Here are some tips that will make your time here with us a little bit more pleasant. There are restrooms located throughout the ED. Please let your nurse know if you need to use the restroom in case a urine sample is needed. Depending on your care plan and the time of day, we may be able to offer you a snack, meal, or beverage. Please check with your care team first because you may need to get certain tests done that require you to be on an empty stomach. Several cafes and cafeterias are also available at Mass General that serve a variety of food and drinks. We kindly ask that you have no more than two visitors at a time with you in the care area so that we have enough space to take care of our patients. We do offer a waiting area in the front of the ED for additional visitors. Please have any visitors check in with the emergency department staff at the front desk when they first arrive. Your privacy is important to us, but we recognize that getting some privacy can be very challenging in our busy environment. Please let a member of our team know if you would like additional privacy for a conversation. We will do everything possible to help you. We offer free Wi-Fi, electronic device charging stations, televisions, and reading materials. We may also be able to offer a pillow, warm blanket, or cold pack. Please let a member of our team know if you are interested in getting any of these services. We want to make sure that you continue to get the care you need after you leave the emergency department. Your care team will work closely with you to make sure that this is possible. Here are a few important things to know about the end of your ED visit. Please speak with us before leaving the ED. We have special instructions to review with you. If you are being admitted to the hospital, there may be a wait until an inpatient bed becomes available. We will get you to a bed as soon as possible. In the meantime, please let us know how we can make you feel more comfortable while you wait. If you are staying in the ED to be closely monitored, you may be moved to a different area called the ED Observation Unit. This area looks like a hospital inpatient nursing unit, but it's on a different floor in the hospital. If you're being sent home, we will go over your discharge instructions with you. This may include instructions on how to take care of yourself at home, what medications to take, and what appointments to make. It is very important that you follow these instructions in order to help you recover and prevent further problems. Let us know if you have any questions. Please be sure to tell your regular primary or specialty care doctors that you visited the ED. They may want to follow up with you on your care. Thank you again for the privilege of caring for you. If you have any questions or feedback about your experience, please talk with your care team. Please visit our website at massgeneral.org backslash edvisit for other helpful information about your time in the ED. Thank you.